Hey, what's up guys? And hey, Barbies and Kens. So, welcome back to my channel, our channel. If you're new here, my name is Gab. I had a very sweet subscriber send me over the story and want me to react to it. So, I'm happy that I am here today to do so. I will say to you right now that the beginning part of this video got deleted somehow. I've been like very just like stressed out lately and that's saying the very, very least of everything happening. And I was half asleep last night. I like fell asleep and then I woke up and then fell back to sleep. And through that tired days, I somehow deleted the beginning part of this video. I don't know how. So uh, I figured instead of, because it's literally just the beginning part, instead of refilming it, I might as well just redo an intro. So hello, here we are. Um, I figured I would just show you the beginning that you missed. If I have a little bit of commentary, I will, but it's like literally the first minute, 30 seconds of Adam's video that um, I just have to re-put in for you guys. Uh, but before this video begins, all thoughts and opinions are my own. And um, let's just get into um, the beginning part of what you've missed. <laughs> and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all having the best day ever okay today's video is going to be a weird one but basically a weird I'm one to responding to eugenia cooney who has responded to a claim i made and even though i believe that it's still the truth but a, a claim i made okay we'll speak like this so a claim that he made even though he believes it's the truth two sides to every story as we know and I want to respond back to what she said. So if you are aware, a couple days ago, I made a video on uh, my VidCon experience, different things that happened, and I very- Now someone's FaceTiming me. That I met Eugenia Cooney. Now, it's important to note that I didn't make that a big part of my video because I wasn't starstruck by Eugenia Cooney, or, and that's no disrespect, all respect here. I just mean it in kind of like, it was random and silly. You know that I met Eugenia Cooney. It wasn't a situation where I was like, oh my God, Eugenia Cooney. It was random and silly meeting Eugenia Cooney. That was the first minute of the video, not even like a minute. It was random and silly. Okay. Like something I would lie about. And I've been seeing a lot of people be like Adam, well, Eugenia's fans, obviously, be like, Adam's lying about meeting Eugenia Cooney. And I'm saying this with the deepest respect for Eugenia Cooney, but... If I was going to lie that I met a creator and that I didn't have a good interaction with them, Eugenia Cooney is not the first name that comes to my mind. I'm so sorry. Eugenia Cooney is not the first YouTuber that comes to my mind when it comes to YouTubers, and that's all you respect. But as well, whenever it's like... When you think of YouTubers, who comes to your mind firsthand? Because to be honest, Eugenia is one of those people that comes to my brain. Graveyard Girl, Jenna Marbles, I'm showing my age. I'm showing my age. Hmm, who should I lie and say that I ran into? Because I didn't make a big deal of it whenever I said it. I said it as an off comment. I focused on the fact that I met Brittany Broski and saw James Charles. Like, it was something that I just, like, kind of brought up. But what I said... Now, I did watch that video, and can I say that um, he definitely, I think, took the part out where he was talking about that. Because if he left it in, I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. I didn't find it. But, um... I will be reacting to Eugenia's response video. I'll be doing that for you guys. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But let me get this video rolling. I'm glad I was able to put the intro back in. I'm sorry it got deleted. Um, every time I try to hide that I'm not going through shit and losing my mind, it's so hard not to because I just a way of doing that. All right, I love you. I didn't make a big deal of it whenever I said it. I said it as an off comment. I focused on the fact that I met Brittany Broski and saw James Charles. Like it was something that I just like kind of brought up. But what I said was I was in VidCon outside of Hall A or Hall B. It's like different, you know, sections in the convention center. At this stage, I'm with three or four other journalists and then a bunch of my friends. So we had like- So the same people per usual, Kat Tambar. And um, that's probably it. Let's be honest, because when he filmed it, it was just him and his mom walking around, so he's seeing, like, a bunch of his friends, but I, I don't... Okay, let's just keep... Let's just keep going, right? Because I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? I'm just, like... <sighs> you're saying this, but then... Like, you would think, like, he would be like, and here's the proof that I have, and have, like, maybe one of his friends that were with him. 
see something? I don't know. That's usually what my friends would do for me. You know, kind of a little super grip going on. And we were Receipts. just there, we were talking, we were waiting to actually go to a taco food truck. I know I'm giving you irrelevant information here, but I'm trying to let you know that we weren't like on the lookout for YouTubers or anything. We were going to literally go get food. So anyway, this girl walks past us and she's wearing like chunky boots. She has a mask on, which was, she stood out initially because there were very few people at VidCon wearing masks. Um, so she, and she just moved so quickly past us, whatever. And one of the people in the group was like, oh my God, that girl, I thought that was Eugenia Cooney because we were only seen from the back at this stage. And we were all, oh, whatever. We didn't think much of it. However, she was with this other woman who a lot of people were like, look up in Google, like if this is what Eugenia's mom looked like, the woman that was her, there with her. And I hate to say it, but it was. It, it, that's what that woman looked like as well. So I mean, if Eugenia's going to say that it wasn't her, that's fair enough. But like, was there also a doppelganger of her mother? Like, it's very confusing to me the same way as it is to her. So it Gas lady, gas lady, Adam. I, do you just hear <laughs> Do you hear that though? He's like, was it a doppelganger? Like, leave this poor woman alone. God, oh my, like why, really? Anybody you could have just like made crap up about? I obviously don't really believe this. Sorry. The stage, she is about to enter and go to, it was like, you walk up the ways. I think she went to like the Fall Guys exhibit or something. But before that, she turned around and she was in a conversation with her mother over by one of the charging docks. So we saw her face at the stage. And again, she's wearing a mask. So it's very hard to tell who a person is. But again, one of the biggest things that immediately told us that this was Eugenia Cooney was one of my friends turns around and goes, oh, that is Eugenia Cooney. And we were like, what? And so we look and then we're like, oh my God, so it is, it is. And one of the biggest... One of the biggest things that made us realize was Eugenie Cooney was my friend said, Hey guys, I think that's Eugenie Cooney. And we all were like, wow, yeah, yeah. So that's what made me realize it was Eugenie Cooney. Like, what? Is that literally what you guys just heard too? Um, by the way, this video commentary is all my own thoughts and opinions. And oh, this is all alleged because who knows? If they really did see each other, who really knows? But yeah, I figured I'd throw that out there. Let's keep a move on, kiddos. Actually, I want to take a thumbnail because this was a great thumbnail pic. Give me two seconds. All right, so I had to get my picture moment on. Signs that it was Eugenia Cooney was the eyeliner. The eyeliner and the mask combo, very recognizable very recognizable for Eugenia Cooney. And then a couple of people in the group had watched the Shane Dawson series and recognized her mother. So at this stage, I'm like, oh my God, I want to go up and say something to her. So at this stage, from what we know, this is Eugenia Cooney. I'm telling you the story before we get to what she said. So I go up, I introduce myself. The inter so she had a mask on and because she had really thick eyeliner on, that was the giveaway. I'm just, I'm just relaying back information, right? That's, that's what we're hearing. Okay. All right. No question, just... Action happens. Eugenia does not really speak to me at all. She just kind of, like, whatever. Whenever I ask for a picture, she just goes like that. She doesn't say anything. And her mother really was the one who was speaking up in this instance. And Eugenia would, like, mutter here and there. And again, I'm not saying that. And I really hope this isn't taken in a disrespectful way. This was just what I was observing. It was mainly the mother being like, we know who you are. And no to a picture. And it was just a very rude experience. So that happened. I walked back. And then one of my friends went up to Eugenia and was referencing something that Eugenia had done. And this person was speaking back to my friend. So if that really was Eugenia and she goes, we know who you are. Like, the mother and her, and they don't feel comfortable having a picture because they don't know what they're gonna- he's gonna use a picture for, like... <coughs> water. <coughs> water. As if they were Eugenia. So, at this stage, we think it looks like Eugenia. Eugenia's sense of style. He literally loaded Eugenia this video up with freaking the woman ads, with her looks damn. exactly like her mother. Like, I mean, is her mother. <laughs> And her mother was rude to me, and then whenever my friend goes up and talks to her as if she is Eugenia Cooney, she's responding to my friend like Eugenia Cooney would. So, that's the story. And I tweeted it and was like, just met Eugenia Cooney, like she turned on a picture and her mother was rude. That was my tweet, that was it. This was, if I, I promise you, if I was to knowingly lie about meeting Eugenia Cooney, I wouldn't. She's not on my radar like that, we don't talk about her like that. Why wouldn't I be like, just ran into Jeffree Star, or just, just ran into, like, you know what I mean? I just tweet it as an off thing because it was an off thing that happened. So anyway, Eugenia Cooney is saying to me on her stream that 
This did not happen. She was not at VidCon, and she was not even in L.A. She was in Connecticut, I think. So, like, a, a big flight journey over. And she said that a couple days before that, or the day before, she had done a live stream. So how could she have been in California? All valid points. However, Eugenia took her first break from Twitch for a, quite some time. The five-day span of the week of VidCon, which links up exactly with my story. And here's my thing. I do. I know that Eugenia's making this an issue of, like, I'm so sorry that Adam thinks he met me and that I was rude because I would never be rude. That's not my problem anymore. My problem is that it's like, I was not even there. I would never be there. Like, why would he lie about this, mate? And then people are like, he just wants Chloe. And I'm like, on my granny's grave, on my granny's grave, that was Eugenia Cooney that we spoke to. That was Eugenia Cooney that we spoke to. And her mother was right... He, like, has too much energy over this, bro. I'm sorry. Like, way too much. Like, I had a very long weekend. That's why sunglasses. This is very bright light. It's summer. It's hot girl summer. Okay, guys? Like, I I had a great weekend. So. <laughs> he's just so, like, this is what happened. I know it isn't. Ah. I don't like that. He's very aggressive. Justice for Eugenia. This video is so long. Oh my goodness. Cite her. Why would I lie about that? So I'm like, why, would I lie? why does she not want to be seen at VidCon? And then if she is isn't mean, at I'm VidCon, sorry. if this Eugenia Cooney and Eugenia Cooney mother look alike, why were they there pretending to be Eugenia? But we literally were like, we are speaking to Eugenia right now. He's kind of being mean. Why is it like so. such a problem that she wouldn't be at VidCon? I'm allowed to have free mean card. And I'm like, it's so confusing to me because I j the issue is like, Oh my god, he's saying that he met me and that I was rude and he didn't even meet me. I wasn't at the convention. And I'm like, girl, like, what? It's like, okay, and then she goes on and says, if I was there and he knew it, he would have taken a picture of me. Like, he, she goes, she gets defensive against me, which clearly if someone's like, oh, I met him. Also, if Eugenia and her mom were at this convention, do you understand how many people would have taken pictures of them? Just like, wa them walking past together them doing stuff together her there like people would just took them and posted up whether they asked permission or not so if anybody has these pictures please um i have a personal email description box for things just send them there show me your pictures of her just like walking through and stuff at this convention because you know, I don't know if that's like a real thing. It doesn't sure as hell doesn't sound like it. Weren't the nicest, so I get where she's coming from. Um. Anyway, she goes. He took many pictures of James Charles. Why didn't he take any pictures of me? And I was like, girl, I went up to you and asked you for you a picture, there. like a selfie, and you said no. And your mother was like, hell no to the picture. So why would I walk behind you and take a picture of you, like? I know that she knows that I didn't take a picture of her, which is why she can, you know, run with us. I wasn't at VidCon and all. She's like, if, if other people would have seen me at VidCon, which they did. <laughs> we had a huge group chat that was actively talking about you because we all saw you and a couple of us talked to you. And I'm like, why would she lie about this? And then why would I? Okay, then you guys should collectively take the pictures and post them somewhere so we can all see. You know, so we all can, uh, you know, see. And then there's the proof. Just saying. I about this. This is what's so confusing to me. This is what's so confusing to me. So anyway, she says, why didn't I take a picture of her and stuff like that? And then someone in her stream is like, Eugenia, I don't see why this is a problem. You took your first ever break for basically a week during the week that VidCon was happening. Did you go to VidCon? It's not a problem. And she's like, no, it's just a coincidence that I took that time off. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my god like are you seeing my progress i'm like and she's being so nice she's being so nice she's like don't set adam hate and i don't mean this to be rude or whatever and to be honest there's some she's statements always that she's nice. like, i don't know who he think he saw and then she'll be like oh but but if he thinks there's like conflicting you know like shady statements here and there but for the most part i genuinely believe that she's being i'm sure they're not conflicting shady statements at all no eugenia i don't have twitter i don't use it so i can't like go and run and do whatever on there but I just, he like flip flops so much and it's so gross. And you know, and then she's being sweet and she's, you know, trying to protect me or whatever like that. But I'm like, I promise you that in that moment, we were speaking to Eugenia Cooney and her mother. Why would we lie about this? Why would we lie about this? There are so many more in terms of what we talk about, interesting YouTubers to lie. Why would he lie about, about it, guys? Why would he lie about it? But why would he lie about it? I'm sorry, I'm trying to be nice. But like, why would he lie about it? 
Because, like, everybody would be posting pictures of them, right? I just met Shane Dawson. Like, you know Videos. I mean? so TikToks. Chat, TikToks. Like, well, can you prove, like, a photo or a text or something of you from the week that you took off that you weren't at, or a TikTok. at LA? And she's like, sorry, I, I just, I don't have any proof of that. And it's like, okay, so you don't have any proof that you weren't in LA the same way you say I don't have proof that you were in LA. And I'm like, why did it even come to this? But because she's addressing on her stream and her army of fans are coming and attacking me, I just want to say that, like, do I believe, even after all of her saying that it wasn't her, do I believe that I talked to Eugenia Kinney and her mother still? Yeah. <laughs> do all of my friends believe that that was her? Yes. And she's like, fans Drop. have been coming. Drop the receipts. Up to me at VidCon. And that is a very valid point. But she was one of the very few people that were very covered up with that event. And she was moving at supersonic speed with her mother throughout that convention. And we don't know where. If they were moving at supersonic speed and they went past you in a line, like you were waiting, like you were waiting in a line. And they went past you, would you get out of that line to go, like, run after him? That isn't adding up either to me, but, okay. She went after she went into Exhibit Hall A. So, anyway, that is the first part. So, I'm going to... First part. Okay. And again, I genuinely mean, I genuinely mean no disrespect to her because she was being so sweet and so polite. And here's my thing. If that truly mm. wasn't Eugenia and her mother... Then I genuinely am sorry, and I apologize for saying that I met you and that your mother was rude to me and that you refused to make sure. I genuinely am sorry if that was not you. That's However, the apology that we're all gonna get now. I'm saying that I'm sitting here and you I already know that I have a feeling that this is. I know that I spoke to your mother, and I know yes. that my friends spoke to you and spoke to your mother. However, with all that being said, if that truly wasn't you, Eugenia, and you're watching this, I genuinely apologize. But I, I am so sorry. I cannot like say that I didn't speak to you or your mother because. Let's hear what she has to say. <laughs> he gave her... I'm so sorry right now. He gave her an apology, right? He gave her an apology. Then two seconds later was like, you know what? I actually can't say that that was you and your mother. So <laughs> he should just be like, so I take that apology back. Because that's, that's basically what you just did. Oh my god, you're so disrespectful, Adam. I should have known. Let's see what she's saying before it gets messier in here. But anyway, she's being so, sense. so, so sweet um, for the most part. But here we go. Pretty trippy. We got me reacting to Adam and I'm reacting to Gina Cooney's live stream. Cool, some different yeah. game. Okay, I think that's what I was last time. Yep, okay, perfect. Wow. Uh, screen and a screen and a screen. Her streams are so calm. I love it. Fair use commentary. Double. Like Hello. Knowing her though, can I just say something? Before? I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna let you finish, Adam. I'm gonna let you finish, but knowing her, I feel like she would have told her fans that she's gonna be there, so she can meet people. And over the years, they've been a little like mean and harsh on her, but I feel like she would have maybe told them to come. I don't know. Let's see what he's gonna say. I don't know. By the way, that. If this truly wasn't her, why she would be, you know, upset that someone's saying that you were rude. But I genuinely can't sit here and say that I don't believe that that was her and her mother. I'm sorry. I'm a clout chaser, y'all. Yeah, you are. She's being sweet with it, and I get that, but her audience are being very cruel. But it's like, I'm a clout chaser for saying that I saw Eugenia Cooney. No yes. disrespect, Eugenia. You're being so yeah, sweet. Yeah, well, I don't know what other word you would use. To sorry. call me a clout chaser about someone that is so far removed from the drama community that I speak about, I'm I'm sorry, babe. Like, I maybe mean, shouldn't even brought it up in the first place, babe. I would have chosen someone else. 
Anyway. No receipts. But she's being sweet here. I don't know if it was in like. I'm not being sweet here. No receipts. Um, a live stream or if he just like said it in a video. But I said it in a video. Like, um, Anna Gravis, thank you so much. These streams are camp. I love it. I need to watch more. Damien Cheese, I'm really happy to be a sub now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really strange. Like, I don't know. Um, I saw a video of, um, you know, that guy, like, made it. That it was, guy. Like, He's so cute. Today, I love like, her. Okay, because I came across, like, a clip I didn't, babe. Um, and that's the thing. Babe, you are right that's now. You I'm are so right sorry, now. I know that my true audience know this. The fact you that are I now. an entire video about this, if this was a fabricated story that I wanted to This is a 25 minute video have right now. One tweet and briefly mentioned it in a video. video about VidCom where I'm making fun of James Charles. 25 you know, minute video. Me, Adam McIntyre would milk that shit. I didn't because it happened. I don't hold any resentment towards her. The fact that he confidently said milk that shit, I didn't like that. Mother. Just it's just something that happened. I've met many creators that have been very rude. It, 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 it's not like... <sighs> Y'all, I, I don't know how to do this video. I don't know how to do this video. Alright, then end it. Because we're only like halfway through. Just saying. No, no, like I just... I don't like when people lie. And listen, this is like... Oh, I hate lies. Back and forth and back and They're forth. the worst. And I know that, um, like, her issue here is that, you know, obviously she wants to defend herself because her mother's being called rude, and I completely get that, and I'm so sorry for that, but, like, that was my experience with this person who shockingly looked like Eugenia Cooney, dressed Ooh, like Eugenia ow. Cooney, spoke to my, out my friends my as if she iPad. was Eugenia Cooney, and this woman beside her, who looks exactly like her mother, speaks like her mother, like, and it's equally as confusing to me whenever, like, speaks like her mother, but you're like, people in my group know what her mother looks like. Like, what do you mean, do you... You meet someone, your friends meet them, they become like a hot topic in your, your grip chat with all your friends, you also saw them, and then they're like, I wasn't even at the event, like, they're lying. And I'm like, there are so many of us that... Yeah. Drop oh. receipts anyway. from that day, then. Uh, anyway. Drop receipts that you guys saw her. He's talking about his experience, like, meeting me, apparently. I made a YouTube video explaining the whole situation. No, he didn't. And your mom at VidCon. No, he didn't. Sweet girl. I did it. Um, but I came across like a clip where he was like saying a story. That was a big clip. Like, it was her and clip. her mom. Like, a, a clip. Like, Sorry, honey. It kind of weirded me out a little bit. I was just like, what? Like, no, I'm on the way here in Connecticut. Uh, and he said I got a mask on or something. Yes. Like, I don't know. I wasn't there. And you had a very seen outfit on. I don't, I don't, like a scene, emo outfit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I wasn't there. And you had a very seen outfit on. Like a scene, emo outfit. She had a very seen emo outfit on. Not like a lot of people in this generation are dressing like that. She had a very seen like today my outfit's very 90s a lot of girls don't dress like this right a lot of girls don't dress like 90s so a lot of girls don't dress like eugenia seen emo outfit <laughs> we recognized the outfit before we recognized you and then we were like eugenia okay we recognized the outfit i don't actually see like an entire youtube video maybe i'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself there i didn't milk the story you can't stand this yeah you did milk the story One singular tweet, yes. Um, yeah, let's throw it a wildfire. Uh, okay, so one thing I want to show, so she speaks about it on and off, but there's one part where people, like, donate money, and they're, like, trying to get her to, like, ask different things. So I'm skipping from 12 minutes now to an hour, so just know that there's a lot of conversation around it that happens within that. You can go watch her live stream if you so desire. But anyway, someone donates to her and says, um... It's a coincidence or something that, like, your first ever break from Twitch for the longest time is during VidCon time whenever someone said that they met you. And she goes on and says, like, if I was really there, so many people, like, would have noticed me, would have came up to me and stuff. And I'm like, that is a valid, great point. Bring but that I'm, up. Like, there wasn't a YouTube Bring it up on the screen. VidCon. And this was something that we were talking about up. in the script chat about her addressing this. Because all of us are like, what is she saying? The audience at VidCon, you can watch my video on, uh, on the VidCon not there for youtube they were there for uh tiktokers and at most the minecraft kids and britney broski that was it there was not a youtube audience there and they probably didn't i had a kickstand i could have helped the whole time by the way she's quite covered up like 
If uh, any creator is walking down the street and they have a mask on or whatever like that, you know, it's it's a bit muffled on who. Oh. This video is filled with ads. I didn't know. I had a little kick stand I can hold. Uh. I can see why she made a response because and I actually I don't know if it's reversed or what it is with the dates but I feel like the, her video was a response possibly to his and oh my god this is just so messy and I just knocked this mini Barbie off of here oh my gosh okay recognized her because we know Eugenia so that's my answer to that but again she can have a, a, a re rebuttal to that and I completely accept that as well but all I'm saying is that I apologize if this truly wasn't her, but all I'm saying is that I cannot lie to you. I still believe that that was her and that was her mother, and so do all of us. <laughs> it's I not funny. You can't be, like, me, like, trying to uh, be serious about something and then sit there and, like, so giggle and laugh. Alright. I'm gonna read out the super chat first, before it comes up. Good, I wanna see it. I said to drop receipts, they're here. So it says, Eugenia, I love you. I hope you had a few days off, or a nice few days off, from the internet. I just think it's kind of weird that you took four or five days off at the same time someone claimed to see you at VidCon. When was the last time you took a break from the internet? This will probably get deleted. So this is her response to it. This is her response to it. Eugenia, I love you. I hope Aww. you had a nice few days of being with the internet. That's such a beautiful dress she has on. I love it. Coincidence. 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 Coincidence.
Ta-da! That's the video. I love you. Let me know your opinion. We'll yeah, my opinion is, like, is something happening? He really did meet her, too. Like, and you could see she was uncomfortable. Like, she probably was scared shitless and was like, oh, great. Adam's gonna put me on blast now. Like, she probably just knew it already. So, oh, my God. And if it is all made up, that's, like, the perfect person for him to just, like, pick on, I feel like. Poor Eugenia. That's trash. That makes me sad, actually. A little bit, because, you know, we've talked about her on the channel, and... God, okay. Anyways, um, your thoughts and opinions, comments down below. Let me know what you think of this whole situation I'm just like I'm so happy again for the person who you know brought this to my attention and um shortly we're gonna have the second part of this which is Eugenia's side of the story and um yeah there's always two different sides to the story in a situation like this and I want to hear hers and I want you guys to hear it with me so uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye guys